So Kling AI have released their new custom face model feature. It essentially lets you train a video model so that you can generate videos of yourself using text to video prompts. Now Kling is actually the first video generator to release a feature like this. And this is going to change the landscape of AI video content creation. First, let me show you guys how I trained my model. So here we are on the Kling website. We wanna head over here where it says AI custom model. It's gonna first give you this disclaimer pretty much in a nutshell it's saying don't just randomly generate videos of people without their consent i don't have to tell you guys that now the first thing it wants you to do is upload a frontal face video 5 to 15 seconds at 1080p now on the right here they have shown a bit of an example of what they want the video to look like now it's also saying make sure that there's no dim lighting so the best way to do that like this is a studio and i got lights but the best thing you guys can do go to a room with a very big window open it up and uh, stand behind a white wall. Make sure it's not blurry. Make sure you're close up to the camera. There's one, something here as well about obviously not having, not having subtitles and obviously don't include anybody else in the shot. This was the video that I used. It was about, I think, 12 to 13 seconds and I literally was just staring at the camera. Then it asked me for about 10 to 30 additional videos of me doing different actions or expressions. On the bottom right were some action demonstrations that I copied. I did about 22 videos out of the first and then I started training my model. Now it does cost 999 credits to train a model. Keep in mind, you only have to do this once. Another thing to consider is that you need at least the pro and the premiere plan to use this feature. So the model training took about two or three hours and I actually got an email to let me know that it was done. So now when I actually go here and I click AI video, we wanna head over here where it says text to video. And this is the new option that pops up which is face reference when you click it you'll see obviously this is your character so when you click into that you will see that you've been now entered into the prompt so all you have to do now is just enter a bunch of prompts with your character selected and here are some everyday examples that i created Then I was trying to be a little bit more creative. So here are some more interesting posts that I was able to generate.
So what are my final thoughts about this feature? So I'm actually very impressed with this feature. This is actually quite a big deal. Prior to this, you would have to generate an image of yourself using an image trained model and then convert that image to a video. Now I can go straight to the source and just generate any video that I want and the results, you, and you just saw it there, they actually come out quite well. This latest feature from Kling has definitely changed the game again. I'm interested to see what are the features or maybe what are the styles or options they're going to release. And also as well, I want to see maybe if the other video generators follow suit. But for now, that's it for the videos. And before I let you all go, just like always, here are my favorite community posts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.